and it didn't it didn't save right. It's weird. So if I go ahead and distribute outsides 28, insides 12, outsides 21, insides 24, outsides 12, insides 18. Yeah. Thank you. So what I'm trying to demonstrate there is watch your negatives. Look for common mistakes. Okay. Negative 9 is my outsides, my insides 36. So now let's just go through and simplify. 28, square root of 4, square root of 3. I'm going to go ahead and simplify this term. Square root of 4 is 2, 2 times 28 is 56, square root of 3. Plus 21, square root of 4, square root of 6, 2 times 21, 42 square root of 6. Minus 12 square root of 9, square root of 2, which minus 3 times 12. 36 square root of 2. This one, square root of 36 is 6. Okay, sorry, I was trying to do my, my Italian impression. Um, 6 times 9 minus 54. Anything we can combine? No, they've got to have like radicals if we're going to combine so them. would it be better to leave like 42 square root of 6 as that instead of 42 square root of Yes, because breaking it up doesn't really help at all, so just leave it to 36. So only break it up if you can get a perfect square? Exactly. Yep. Yes, ma'am. All of 43? Oh, yeah. Yep, you bet. <laughs> I was like, ah, ah, okay. <laughs> so we got 9 minus 2 square root of 3. Like sometimes in like calculus, we end up doing, you know, some of the problems are difficult. We only have like six problems or something or four problems. And um, sometimes we're like, okay. Um, we just end up doing all of them. Like if they're implicit differentiation or something like that. Good. <laughs> I know I got that really late. Okay. I'm glad you're here, Rosa. Thank you. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Um, square root of 3 times square root of 3. So I multiply top and bottom by the, by the irrational conjugate. Okay. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 gives me 3. That can, uh, The negative 6 square root of 3, positive 6 square root of 3, they cancel. Hallelujah. So I got the negative 36. Now on the top. <laughs> what? Oh, is that what it is? I'm sorry, I didn't realize my... Hey! Hey, I, I, I'm, I, hey do, I, I'm, I'm not going to deny it. 2 times 3 gives me 6. Okay, so 2 times square root of, square root of 3 times square root of 3 gives me 3. Um, so 3 times 2. I was wondering what you guys were laughing at. Wait, um, why does the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 give you 3, but then up there, the square root of 3 times the square root of 6 gives you square root of 18? No, it gave me the square root of 18. Because the square root of something, well, like say, if this one, if I take square root of 3 times square root of 3, I get square root of 9, which is? 3. 3. So the square root of a times the square root of a gives me? A. a. Because by definition, it's something that times itself that would give me a. So this is something that if I take it times itself, my answer is going to be a. Because the square root of, okay. So why do you write 9 square root of 3? Because it's 9 times the square root of 3. Um, okay? And hey, and you know, if you got questions, ask them. Okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do have to admit, I've rocked out to my in my shop to this one more than once. <laughs> Plus 12 square roots of 3. Okay? 
So just carefully each term, and now let's simplify the top. And then the rest we addressed earlier. Divide everything by three. Did you really not hear it until we put it out? No. <laughs> so you just wondered why we all started laughing? Yeah, I, 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 I wasn't quite sure why it was. And as a teacher, sometimes you just don't want to know. <laughs> So let's take a look at 29. So I get 5 square roots, x to the 8th, y to the 3rd, times 5 square roots of 2x to the 5th, y to the 4th. Okay? So multiply outsides, insides, 2, x to the 13th, y to the 7th. Okay? So what we'll do is we can take a look at um, remember, square roots, we're looking for pairs. Okay. So what we have then is we get 25, and I'm just going to break it up into things I know. I don't know a square root of 2. But x to the 12th, I know. But I got an x left over. y to the 6th, I know. And I got a y left over. Okay? So now we can just go, I'm going to break this 12 up into x to the, x to the 6th, and x to the 6th. And y to the 6th, I'll go y to the 3rd, and I'm left over with 2xy. Did I get right? Boy, when I talk about a quiz, suddenly people are asking questions that, that maybe sometimes don't get asked. So that's finding some... It's on the other... Oh, on, on, the, on the assignment from yesterday? Okay, we did that yesterday, so I'll just talk about it real quick. Oh, yeah, I heard Okay, um, yeah, so probably won't redo the whole thing, but if you take a look at this, um, they're your 36 and your 10, that's what they're going to cancel. So, if I was... Pretty impressive. Um... If I was going to simplify this, I would get the cube root of 36 goes down to 18. My x's cancel, and I get y squared over 5z. So now when we're looking at multiplying something by top and bottom that, that makes the bottom rootable, I got 1, 5. What do I need to multiply top and bottom by? 5 squared. Got 1z. What do I need to multiply top and bottom by? Z squared. Focus on the bottom. Just your eyes on the bottom. Okay? So now what I would have is I'd have the cube root of 5 cubed Z cubed, and then that would allow me to root the bottom. Then. Okay? So simplify first, and multiply the top and bottom by something that will uh, make the bottom rootable. Are you cold? No. Oh, okay. Shall we get started? I think that looking at these, the first six, you guys should be able to mow through these first six like nobody's business. Um. Um, either before school or after school. Because you guys leave at what, 8 10? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's 8 10. I just think it's beneficial to you. Um, because I just think it'll be better. And it saves us a day of instruction. Or saves us a day in the long run, which I think is going to be wise. 
So, yeah, number five is just a calculator problem. That's why it says approximately. Yeah, but one through six, other than you should just be able to mow right through that, like right through the extra back of the box a little bit. Oh, that's nice. I just showed part of the quiz to 